everybody and welcome back to my channel or hi hello if you are new here and thank you for joining me for today's video. Today's video is going to be an Amazon haul. These are all of my current Amazon favourites but also everything that I've bought from Amazon in the last couple of months. I've done a few videos like this where I just kind of share what I've been buying on Amazon because I do most, probably like everybody, do most of my general shopping and bits that I need on Amazon and you can just find so much on there now. Even the usual stuff that you might pick up in boots or something you can also find on Amazon you can get like one day delivery so yeah I mean I think we all use Amazon a lot so I thought I'd just share with you today everything that I've picked up recently and the first thing I'm going to show you literally arrived today and I am absolutely obsessed with them it is a pair of boots so I will show you them now so first up I have this lovely pair of boots in this box came in nice packaging actually um from the brand not really sure how to say this but Ivarchi, 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 maybe. Uh, good value fashion shoes. Um, these are a pair of cowboy boots. The other day I was looking through Amazon and I saw the most perfect black cowboy boot, which I've picked up. Then I've also ordered it in another color as well. Anyway, I'll stop talking about it and just show you it. Comes really nice wrapped like this as well. And here is the boot. Oh my God. I honestly am absolutely obsessed with them. So I've got them in a black shade and then they also had them in a kind of brownie, well, yeah, I suppose a brownie camel coloured shade. So I ordered them in that colour as well and they should have arrived today when these did, but they haven't arrived yet. So maybe it'll be later tonight. I was hoping before I start filming this video they would have arrived. I'm actually going to be doing a cowboy boot styling video very soon, which one of you guys actually recommended for me to do because I'm just obsessed with all things Western cowboy style. I wear cowboy boots all the time. So it would actually be perfect for my channel to have a cowboy boot styling video, but I didn't have a pair of black ones. So now I do because black ones are really good for the winter. They just go with all of your winter outfits. You can wear them with leggings, you can wear them with tights, skirts, jeans, jumpers, oversized jumpers. You can wear them with dresses. You can honestly just wear them with so much. They're just so versatile. And I just felt like this one was really cool because it has the lovely cowboy boot styling, but then it also has this nice chunky square heel. And on the heel, it has a bit of detailing as well where it's got this like shiny silver bit around there which looks quite cool so you could definitely pair this with like maybe silver jewellery or like a silver belt or something would like match in nicely with that. I think uh, the camel ones have a gold band going around them here so that would look really nice with gold jewellery and stuff but yeah this is the cowboy boots they have a little zip on the side so they're really easy to get on and off. They are a lovely height on the leg as well they come up to me just below the knee which is quite nice obviously if you're taller than me they are going to look shorter or if you're shorter than me they're going to look taller. Um, I ordered this pair of cowboy boots from Zara the other day, which I thought they were like the best cowboy boots. And if I could design a pair, that's what I would design. They were so gorgeous. They were black and then the pattern on them was dark brown and I absolutely fell in love with them. So I ordered them. They were full leather ones as well. So they were about 150 quid or something. They were, they were a lot of money. But I thought, well, if that's the perfect cowboy boot, then, then I have to buy them. Anyway, ordered them and they're so tall. They're supposed to be knee high. They came up past my knees. I'm five foot three and a half. I mean, maybe that's on the shorter side, but still I'm thinking, how tall are these people that they design clothes for? Because I just don't think that that's the average height. Like it literally came up that far past my knee and it's supposed to be knee high. So yeah, wasn't sure about them. I had to return them. They just looked too, they looked too much, you know, cause they came up above the knee. They looked a little bit, you know, I want to look cool Western. I don't want to look dominatrix. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and they were black as well. So it looked very risque. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy with these. So glad I found them. The quality feels really nice. These are not leather, although they look like leather, they're not. They feel really nice. They're lovely and squishy. They were £43.99, so not completely breaking the bank. I mean, they are fairly up there in price for a boot that isn't leather. But for me, I felt like the style and the quality of them was definitely worth the money. And I'll show you the best bit as to why these are going to be perfect for winter. They are actually fleece lined, which just makes them even better. I'm just going to try and show you with in the zip here, the lining. I'm hoping you can see in there, it's like furry. It's not even fleece really. It's actually kind of like a fur lining, um, which goes all the way throughout them. 
and also the base of them, you know, where your foot goes, is actually really nice and padded. It feels a little bit memory foamy there. So yeah, really comfortable. When I tried them on, they had a really nice secure fit. Um, I'm generally a size UK 6 and I picked these up in a UK 6 and they fit very true to size. So I'll definitely stick with your normal sizing on them. But yeah, extremely happy with the cowboy boot. Definitely keep an eye on my channel for my cowboy boot styling video because you will see me trying these on and styling them up with an outfit. Um, but yeah, honestly, absolutely obsessed with these. Okay, next up I want to, whoops, just hit the ceiling with this. <laughs> I want to chat with you about my new mop, which I did mention in one of my previous videos. I have been having just mop issues over the last, well, probably Ever since I've been buying mops, I've had mop issues. I just cannot ever find one that I love, that doesn't break, that cleans enough. It's just, I don't know why, I just cannot find one that I love enough. Anyway, I had my eye on this for a little while, but it's fairly expensive. It's £41.95, and p which is, I know it's not like a massive amount of money, but I feel like that that is quite a lot of money for a mop, so I never bought it for ages and then I think one day I was just mopping and the mop I had was just so crap I was like right I'm ordering that mop so I ordered it and it's called the squeezy peasy um it is a UK small business um the ladies like design the whole thing is her own special design and stuff so I really like that idea as well with it like a lot of thought has gone into this mop so anyway mine's very dirty because I've been using it all the time and honestly loving it i cannot fault it at the moment so i hope it doesn't break or anything but honestly it doesn't feel like it will so let me explain it to you because it's a little bit complicated okay so this is your mop obviously um you have five of these cloths that come with it that are completely washable and you can just peel them off wash them and you get five replacement ones um, and they're really nice thick soft cloths and then the pole is really nice and sturdy. It's not thin, it's not plastic, it's metal. It feels like I'm not gonna snap it in half because one of my previous mops, I literally snapped it in half. When I was mopping, it just snapped. Um, this one does not feel like it's gonna do that. It's really secure. The end is all like cushioned. You can also hang it up here. It's got a little hanger on it. Um, you just pop this all together. And then the mop here, kind of pops down and it does all like you know 360 usual mop and then it goes back like that because this is how you store it and um, so I'll show you the rest of the mop bucket so you can see how it works also if at any point you see an extension like popping out from my ear here it's because I've tucked my hair behind my ears and I've got some tape in extensions in and they are, really need to come out now they're like hanging down really low so when I tug it behind my ear it like pops out the side of my head so if you notice something sticking out of here, that is what that is. And they are coming out very soon um, because, yeah, they're just, they're, they're hanging on in there, literally. So the mop bucket looks like this at the top, which looks quite complicated. And it did take me, uh, well, it took me about 15 minutes to figure it all out once I'd set it all up. Um, but basically you have three different compartments in here. So this is the mop storage bit. So the mop just fits in there. Um, then you have in this bit here is your dirty water tank and then you have your clean water tank. So the clean water is where you'd put your floor cleaning product in mixed with water like a normal mop bucket. So that will go in there and then you use this little little knob thing here to turn that way and then it releases water into where you're storing the mop head so then the mop head gets saturated with your clean water with your floor cleaner in it and then you can pull the mop out and it's got these little teeth here which then rinses the excess water off the mop so you pull it out nice clean mop mop your floor then you put it back in here but as you push it back in to the middle here it then puts the excess dirty water off the mop into this section here. So basically, as you use this, you end up with a tank here with all your dirty water in. Then you have your clean water in here, which filters into here. And then you dip it in, clean, put it back in, it cleans the cloth off. And then you empty it all at the end. But you can keep dipping and mopping with completely clean water, if you get what I mean. So you don't need to dip the mop into dirty water, which is what you would normally do when you use a regular mop, isn't it? You'd kind of dip it in and the water would already be dirty. So you're kind of just spreading sort of dirty water all around. But this way you can really have a properly clean floor. And I really love it. I also love how small and compact the mop bucket is. You can actually store the mop 
inside the bucket so you just break down each section and then it sits nicely inside the bucket so if you just want to store it away in a cupboard somewhere it would actually only be this big and you could just slot it in it's nice and square so yeah honestly absolutely love it oh for emptying out your dirty water you have this little plug here so you can just pull it out and empty it down the drain to be honest though i end up just taking this lid off and i just pour it all out and just clean it but that's what it looks like inside so you can see the different compartments there it is very dirty so i've been using it but it really made me realize how dirty the floors were and how i obviously haven't been mopping them properly because i could see the completely dirty water coming off and it's so satisfying when you look in there and you're like oh look at all that dirt in the bucket and then you're like pouring it away i don't know if it's just me that's a bit sad but it was very satisfying to use and I really like it, so I really recommend it to you guys if you're looking for a good mop. All of my Amazon stuff that I talk about today, I will leave it linked down below so you can easily have a look for yourselves. And there's also lots of videos on this as well, so I may not have explained it very well, but you can just go on to Amazon and watch the videos and it kind of shows you exactly how to use it and how good it is. I'll also add the items that I talk about into my Amazon storefront as well, which is like a little Amazon shop where anything that I buy or anything that I love, I can link it onto there and then all you guys have to do is click on the one shop link and then it brings up my Amazon storefront and then you can see everything that I've talked about in this video and previous videos, which is always helpful. Finally, I am happy with a mop. Okay, next up, I want to talk about coffee. This is the coffee that I have been absolutely loving. I'm not sure if I showed this in a previous video or not because I bought these quite a while ago and I can't think if I already showed them, but I'm gonna show you them again anyway because it's definitely a daily favorite of mine. These are the Law Espresso Ristretto Intensity 11 little coffee pods to go in the Nespresso machine or any machine that takes Nespresso tablet things, you know. Um, but these ones are really nice. I'm quite picky when it comes to coffee machine coffee that isn't properly ground up coffee because some of them can taste not strong enough, a little bit fake, or they taste too sweet. I don't know if they add sugar in them or sweeteners. But yeah, I, I find that it's hard to find a really good tasting coffee that I can use from one of the machines because I do like using my Nespresso machine because it's so quick and easy. So yeah, I found these and you can buy them on Amazon and I actually bought, this is just one box I've got left, but I bought like a bundle of them. So I got 120 of them for 30 pounds, I think it was. Well, 30 pounds and 99p, so 31 pounds. And I got 120 and I think that works out something like 20 to 25p per little pod. Um, they're just the ones like this, if you don't know what I mean when I say the Nespresso boards, you know, like the small ones. But these taste so good. I think it's because they're strength 11. Uh, they are quite strong ones, um, but it goes nice with some hot milk. So I normally heat my milk up in my mug in the microwave to start with. So that'll be heating in the microwave. I'll be heating up the coffee machine and I'll pop a pod in and I'll put it on the sort of Longo one, Longo, however you say it, where you can, you get more water coming through it. So it kind of turns into almost like a flat white, I suppose. So then I get a really nice frothy coffee. It's got good strength, um, but you can also buy these in like double sizes so you can get big ones. And then you can have like an even stronger coffee. And Ollie sometimes has it as an espresso shot and it's really nice creamy espresso shot. So if you just like them for a shot of coffee, these are also really good for that as well. But you can also make a long coffee out of them as well, which I really enjoy it like that. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd mention them because it is something that I use every day, basically. It says they are crisp, spicy and complex. Okay, it's interesting. Okay, next up, I have found a product which has helped me so much, I cannot explain it. Finally, after trying so many different products, I bought this product from Aveeno, which is the Aveeno Dermexa Fast and Long Lasting Balm, Triple Oat Complex and Ceramides, suitable for the whole family. Uh, basically, I've been getting really, really itchy lower legs, just from my knee down to my ankles so itchy i think potentially from shaving or just from getting drier skin these days i don't know something's changed in my skin and it gets so itchy that i've actually like i leave bruises on my legs by my ankles at night i'd like scratch them up they'd actually be like bleeding and i don't even realize i'm doing it it's because they're so itchy i just can't help but scratch them obviously even when i'm asleep 
So I've tried a few different products. I've used the normal Aveeno stuff, you know, the green bottle one. And that one's okay, but it doesn't stop the itching. It, maybe it soothes it, but it doesn't stop it. Anyway, I looked at the reviews of this one and it said that this stops itching and it does. It's really good. It's a tiny little bottle though, but it's a really thick balm. I'm gonna show you on my hand. It's very thick, not like any of the other Aveeno products that I've used in the past. It's a lot thicker. Like, I, I'm hoping you can tell on camera, but it's much more like a thick balm texture. Um, so I use it at night just because it's definitely something that you can feel on your skin. It doesn't soak in completely, which I think that's obviously what I needed to get rid of the itch. But it's completely transformed the dry skin on my legs. They were going a bit kind of flaky and scaly. They looked so weird and I'm not used to that on my skin. It's normally very oily. Um, so yeah, this has transformed the look of my lower legs. They now look nice and smooth. They're not scaly anymore. But the main thing is they don't itch. They do not itch. It has definitely taken away that itch. So I'm really pleased with that. I've forgotten to write this one on my list, so I can't remember how much it was. I'm pretty sure it was 9.99. It wasn't cheap either. I mean, it's only 75 mil. I think I paid 9.99 for it. But you do honestly only need like the smallest bit. You can really stretch it. It's a whole different texture to the other Aveeno products. So I would definitely recommend it if you've got any itchy skin patches, maybe eczema, dermatitis, it might help you. I don't know, it might help you, but it helped me fast. Like I used it, the first night I was still a bit itchy and I thought, oh, it doesn't work. And then literally after using it two days, the itch stopped and I have no scars on my legs now, no big scratch marks or anything, so I'm pleased about that. Okay, next up, I am working on my eyelashes. So I've stopped using the stick-on ones just because I fancied a break from them. I don't think they're the best for my natural lashes. So I just wanted to have a little break away from them. And also I love scrubbing my eyes. Every night when I wash my makeup off, I just love that feeling of cleaning my eyes. And when you've got fake eyelashes on, like the ones that you keep on overnight, um, obviously you, you just can't scrub your eyes. So I'm off the lashes at the moment and I'm working on my natural lashes. So I think this is the mascara I've been using, but I'll show you the lash serum first. So the lash serum is something that I've literally only just started using so I can't say whether it works or not but the reason I bought it is because the reviews were so good on Amazon and there was pictures on there as well and before and afters looked really good so I was like I'm just going to try that one. It's called the Grande Lash Serum. It's the Lash MD Lash Enhancing Serum. I did get the 4ml one, which is quite a big bottle. It says it will last you six months and it's £33.50. So I thought that was actually quite a good price for six months worth of use. I was going to buy the UK Lash one because I know that that is just so raved about. But that one I think was a four month supply for £38. So I just felt like this one was more, this one was better value. I could also get it on Amazon, which was easy. So I got free delivery as well. And the reviews on it were really good. Oh, and the other thing with this one is you only apply it once a day. Whereas some of the other ones that I've looked at, you have to apply morning and night. I just wanted one that I applied at night. So this one, you literally wash your face, make sure your eyelashes are nice and clean. And then you open it up and all you do is just, well, you don't even wipe it off. You keep what's on there and you just swipe it along top of your lash line just one dip for both eyes and then you leave it a couple minutes to dry and then just carry on with whatever you're doing and after I think four to six weeks you should notice much more longer thicker lashes but after two weeks you'll already notice that the quality of your lashes are better so I'm really excited I've used it for a couple of days so we're going to see no results at the moment but I did take a little photo of my before picture of my lashes. So, so in about six weeks, I'll, I'll see what they're looking like then. And I can sort of update in the description box below whether I think this is worth it. But I honestly think it will be, judging from the photos online. So the other thing that I did with my eyelashes, because after I stopped putting the fake ones on, I noticed they were a bit sort of flat and I don't know if they've been weighed down they're a bit kind of flimsy I don't know they just didn't feel their best so I gave myself a lash lift which has really helped to just lift up my eyelashes so they look way thicker because all those little baby hairs underneath kind of get lifted into it so it makes the whole eyelash look thicker and so now when I apply my mascara which is also from Amazon it is the Lash Paradise Mascara this one is a very viral mascara I think a lot of people already know how good this one is but it is so good, I absolutely love it. Um, but now I've done the lash lift, 
when I apply the mascara, it just goes on so nice. And I think my eyelashes are looking pretty good, if I do say so myself. And um, they're looking nice and full. I mean, it depends what sort of lash you like. I like a really thick, full lash, very volumized. But obviously other people like that more thin, lengthening look. Um, so it depends what you wanna go for, but this one definitely is more of a volumizing mascara. The applicator is really nice and chunky. I absolutely love it. And the product is, it's wet enough, but it also has that kind of dry feel to it, which means that you can really get in there and really thicken up the eyelashes. It's also very buildable. I did two coats today, but if I'm going for an evening out or something, I'll do three or four coats and you can really, really make them look fake. Like my friend came around the other night because we went out Saturday night, it was really fun. We had a fun night out, drinking and dancing, all of that good stuff. And she actually said to me, no, I said to her, oh, I'm just gonna put my um, fake eyelash on so I'm gonna put stripped lashes on. She was like, oh, you've not already got fake eyelashes on. I was like, no. And it was just this mascara because I'd put like four coats of it. She was like, you don't need fake eyelashes. It literally looks like fake lashes. So yeah, really, really good. On Amazon, this is £7.43, which I do believe is cheaper than Boots or Superdrug or wherever else you might buy this. I think it's normally about 11 99 So yeah, £7.43 and obviously free delivery on Amazon as well. But I'm hoping these two together and having a regular lash lift is going to really help out my eyelashes and just make them look fake without having to wear fake ones. So yeah, really pleased with them two items. And then sticking with the eye theme, um, I also picked up this nude eyeliner, which is something that I kept meaning to buy for ages and just never got around to it. And then I saw it on Amazon when it was the Amazon Prime Day sale. And I suddenly remembered I wanted a nude liner. So this is basically just a nude coloured eyeliner, which is for your waterline. And I just love this for brightening up my eyes. So it kind of gets rid of any redness. So if your waterline's got a bit red or you're tired, just throw a little bit of nude eyeliner on it and instantly your eyes look really wide and awake. It makes them look bigger. And I just find it really flattering on the eyes. I think I used to always put like a dark eyeliner in my waterline and blend eyeshadow into it and stuff and have that really dramatic eye look. But I have found recently that almost ages me a little bit. I don't mind doing it for a night out, evening out, sort of very dramatic makeup. But for everyday makeup, I quite like the fresh, bright eye look now. I think it's a little bit more youthful. So yeah, that's why I picked up this one. It says it's 24 hour wear, although I don't think it is 24 hour wear because I did wear it out the other night and I definitely had to reapply it that evening. So it's not completely 24 hours, but maybe I've got more watery eyes than other people, I don't know. But it is shade 005 Nude and it's the Rimmel London Scandalize Nude eyeliner. So I'll leave that one linked down below as well, but I'm pretty sure you can pick that up from Boots, anywhere like that as well. And then last but not least, my absolute favourite brow gel is the NYX The Brow Glue. It's so good. I just buy the clear one. At the moment with my eyebrows, I've been using a brown eyeshadow just on the tip to really sharpen up the tip of them. And then I've not been putting any product at the front apart from this. So there's no added colour at the front. I just use the clear brow gel and just buff them up like that. So they look a bit fluffy here, but then they're a lot more like streamlined around the side. And I'm just really enjoying that eyebrow look at the moment. The brown eyeshadow that I use is the same bit of brown eyeshadow that I put as a tiny little bit of liner here, just to give me a little wing, tiny one, probably can't even see it, but there's a little tiny wing out here. I use the same eyeshadow for my eyeliner and my eyebrows. So then I feel like it kind of like ties together. And also another thing that I've done today is I've used my liquid blush that's on my cheeks, I've used it on my lips as well to kind of like bring the whole makeup look together so there's not too many different colors going on. That's what I've been doing at the moment, trying to use the least amount of products but get the finished look, if you know what I mean. The brow glue was £7.50, which I think is about the same as what it costs if you buy it on the high street as well. But obviously, again, you can just get your free delivery, which I love. So that is everything that I have got from Amazon in the last couple of months. Let me know your thoughts down below. And also, like I said earlier, I'll leave everything linked down below so you can find it for yourselves. I'll definitely do more of these Amazon videos. So if you're not already subscribed and you wanna see more Amazon videos or different types of haul videos, then definitely consider subscribing. But I really hope that you're all doing very, very well. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.